the internet, Eric here. Um, I'm going to do an unboxing video tonight. Um, an unboxing video is basically what it sounds like. I got something in the mail. I'm going to open it and show off what I got. Um, but tonight, I mean, I've done an unboxing video before. One of my first videos is, I think I called it, Opening Alan's Box of Mystery or some shit like that. It was a neat little video of opening a gift of shit from my buddy from South Carolina. Um, got some really cool stuff. And it's in a playlist called Mail Call. Go ahead and check out that playlist um, to see what I got. And uh, today I am opening some things that I got from my buddy Roger. Jeez, excuse me. And um, if you're new to my channel, you might not know who Roger is. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, but if you have been following me over the past year since my channel's been around, you've known I've mentioned Roger a lot. Um, Roger has his own channel, uh, Channel Donstar. I'll put the link down in the uh, description below. But also, you can go to the homepage on um, this YouTube channel and um, go to, I think it's the right-hand column where it says Featured Channels. It says Channel Donstar. Click on that link. Check out Roger's stuff. Roger's a cool dude. Um, he's been, he's loved film his entire life, ever since he was a child. Um, been involved with film. He's written screenplays. He just likes watching movies, all types of movies. Um, foreign, horror, action, drama, every genre there is, Roger loves it. And what I love about Roger is, on his channel he does reviews. Um, just whatever he's talking about. Um, and one of the things that, one of his first concepts when he became a YouTuber was he had a series of videos called Defending My Collection, and that's basically where he goes through his entire collection of movies. Talks about them. You know, little tidbits here and there of what he thinks about them. And sometimes Roger would go off on tangents, and it was cool, because he lives in, the, let's, let's just say... He lives in the Chicago area, and all of his um, movies are alphabetical, you know. So, like, when he got to the C's, and uh, he got to Child's Play. And, like I said, he he's from the Chicago area. Um, Child's Play was filmed in Chicago, or at least most of it, I think. Um, he talked about how he was working somewhere, and across the street from where he was working was where they filmed, like, the Toy Store sequence in the very beginning. So, really cool, like I said, and he, Roger's so down-to-earth and friendly, and Roger's just like me, you know, you, he, he's, he's got, like, his little slogan as you like, I like, like, you can like what you want, I like what I want, you know, we all enjoy what we enjoy, never be embarrassed about what you like, and like I said, me and Roger became friends, you know, I met him on Facebook, and he didn't post a lot then, but once he became uh, you know, he got his YouTube channel, started posting more and more, and I think I was one of his first subscribers. And I think that we became good buds. But what's cool is, just to show, you know, before I get to the unboxing, just to show kind of how small this world really is, I had known Roger before Facebook and YouTube. And he didn't know this at the time, he now knows this now. He says it kind of blew his mind. Um, years before I was even on Facebook, and I don't know when Roger was, I was looking for Friday the 13th soundtracks because I was trying to get all the songs to put on, like, burned CDs and stuff. And while I Googled, and I found a website that was selling Friday the 13th soundtracks, and it ended up being Roger's old website, which he no longer has. But it was cool. I ended up finding a homemade... I still got them all. Homemade Friday the 13th soundtrack. And it's got clips of the dialogue from the movies. And it's got like the Harry Manfredini scores. Plus all the songs. Like it's got Man Behind the Mask. And um, His Eyes by Pseudo Echo. Teenage Frankenstein. Really cool. Homemade soundtracks. You know. I also ended up getting the Nightmare on Elm Street one that he made. You know, the Hidden Hits. You know, it's got all the songs from, you know, the movies. But it's got, all, it's also got, whoa, 
It's also got rare and random Freddy related songs like, um, what is it? Nightmare on My Street by Fresh Prince and DJ Jazzy Jeff and where is it? Are You Ready for Freddy by the Fat Boys and you know stuff from uh, Stormtroopers of Death and shit like that. And then another one, the last one I got from him, he, he made a special edition uh, two disc Dawn of the Dead remake um, soundtrack. Which is cool because, it, like I said, it's two disc, but he's got the score on one, and then he's got all the songs on the other. And, you know, he doesn't do it anymore, but it was cool, you know, finding, and what it was is, when I first started, you know, on Facebook, I typed in, uh, or I was looking through, like, my fucking basement, and I refound these. These were packed away. And Roger, I'm not going to reveal his last name, but Roger's uh, last name is in the copyright, I believe, here. It's either in the copyright here or it was on his website. I don't remember. Typed it in. Um, found him. It was Chicago area. And we became friends, like I said. And then eventually, once she started doing YouTube, um, friendship was born. We became good buds. We shoot the shit all the time. And like I said, he's probably, he's one of my biggest supporters. Other than, you know, Faligar and um, Gollum, even though you've been MIA for a while. Um, Whitey, you know, everybody. But enough about them. Tonight we're talking about what Roger gave me in the mail. And this isn't the first time Roger gave me some stuff in the mail. He used to have a series called What's in the Box where he was getting rid of all of his crap. And he gave me a good selection of stuff before, um, which I will show in another video because he has one more package to send me um, from that series, which I'll explain when I get that. But tonight, I'm going to explain, finally, these. Now, these are open because, A, I got a number, number one, and number two. And the reason why I have them numbered is, A... I made the mistake of opening one from Roger, which I thought was from mine, because apparently they're both from Amazon. And I had recently ordered some stuff from Amazon, and I opened it up, and I'm like, holy shit, I didn't order this. So the first one, number one, I'm going to show off. I already know what it is. Number two, I cut it open, and I had my wife look at it, and I said, is this the Conan the Destroy or the Conan the Barbarian remake? She said, no. And so now I know that the second one is from Roger. But being the fact that I opened this one up already does not diminish my uh, excitement for what this is. First thing Roger sent me, and this is fucking cool, dude. It is, first off, I finally got a fucking Blu-ray player in 2016 for my birthday. Still haven't fucking hooked it up because we need a new um, TV with an HDMI input. In port and all that shit. Got one ordered from Groupon. Gonna be here soon. But one that when that TV comes in, I get everything finally fucking hooked up. I can watch on Blu-ray the Frankenstein Complete Legacy Collection. And this looks fucking awesome, dude. It's all eight films from the original Legacy. 1931 to 1948. And I think this is the one, Roger... Is this the one you were unsure of, thinking that I would like, um, because of the era? Um, I rem I've seen Frankenstein. I've seen Frankenstein, I've, heard, I've only seen it once or twice. And, well, first off, this has, wow, Frankenstein from 1931, Bride of Frankenstein from 35, Son of Frankenstein from 39, Ghost of Frankenstein, 1942, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, 1943, House of Frankenstein, 1944. House of Dracula, 1945. Ava can still meet Frankenstein, 1948. Um, I'd seen Frankenstein... God, I was... I don't even think I was out of high school yet, or maybe it was before high school. Uh, back when VHSs, you could still rent them from um, uh, video stores. I, I miss renting videos in video stores. I was going through a phase of renting... 
know, Dracula and Frankenstein. So it's probably been a good 20 fucking years since I saw Frankenstein. Um, I know the classic scenes, the windmill scene. I know the, you know, the little girl in the lake scene. And I really remember enjoying Frankenstein. Um, but, uh, I've never seen Bride of Frankenstein or any of the others. Um, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, I believe I saw that within the past couple years. I enjoyed it, but the rest, I have no fucking clue. And I know Roger, I think you said Franken, Bride of Frankenstein is your favorite from the classic Universal Monsters. Um, I know how much you love it. So I'm excited to see that. And the fact that it's got eight fucking films. And um, it says the un the original Frankenstein is one of the silver screen's most unforgettable characters. And along with other universal classic monsters, define the Hollywood horror genre. Frankenstein Complete Legacy Collection includes all eight films from the legacy, including the tragic classic starring Boris Karloff and the timeless films that follow. These landmark motion pictures define the iconic look of Henry Frankenstein's monster and his bride and continue to inspire countless remakes and adaptations that strengthen the legend of Frankenstein to this day. Uh, bonus features. Now these bonus features seem cool as fuck. Um, the Frankenstein Files, How to Make a Monster Documentary. She's Alive, Creating the Bride of Frankenstein Documentary. Karloff, The Gentle Monster. Um, Karloff seemed like a cool dude. I mean... He goes from, you know, being the monster to, um, Mad Monster Party, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, um, Frankenstein Archives, Bride of Frankenstein Archives, Boo, a short film, Abbott and Costello Meet the Monsters, four commentaries and trailers. So, it seems like they didn't spare, you know, anything when it comes to the bonuses. And, I'm, like I said, I'm really excited, dude. <clears throat> and I don't know which one this is, but I know that's Bela Lugosi as Igor. And I know that because I watched um, the Horror Hall of Fame. Um, it was this old thing, old Hall of Fame, hosted by uh, Robert Anglin. And Bela Lugosi was getting an award. I mean, he was already dead, obviously. Um, but they mentioned his portrayal as Igor here. Because I recognize the way he looked. But, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. This is going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah, thank you again, Roger. Um, and, and, you know, the Frankenstein has been rebooted so many fucking times. It's really cool to finally have the original. Now, number two. I have no idea what this is. Uh, Roger was excited. He wanted me to open it because he says he knows I'm going to like this. No fucking clue what it is. The only hint he gave me was Clue Gallagher was in it. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. All I know about Clue Gallagher is he was in Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 as Jesse's father. And Roger reminded me that he was in the Return of the Living Dead series. I've seen one or two of them. I know Clue Gallagher... Um... Stars in it with Tom Matthews from Friday the 13th Part 6. And Linnea Quigley gets naked and dances in a graveyard. So I still have no fucking clue what this is. Unless it's, you know, Return of the Living Dead. So, blind opening. We have... We have Feast Trilogy. Feast 1. Feast 2... <laughs> Feast 2, Sloppy Seconds. And Feast 3, The Happy Finish. You might not be able to see that so much with the glare. Feast. Feast 2, <laughs> fucking Sloppy Seconds. That sounds fantastic. And Feast 3, The Happy Finish. Okay. You know what? I think I've heard of Feast. Because it says from executive producers Wes Craven, Ben Affleck, and Matt Damon. And it also says Chris Moore comes the incredible horror extravaganza feast. From uh, Harry Knowles, Ain't It Cool News. I think, I don't remember if I've seen Feast before. But I remember reading about it. I remember reading about it being intense, bloody, disgusting. Um, I believe J. 
Jason Mewes is in the first one for like five minutes before he fucking gets killed. But I remember it being a fucking blood fest. And everyone who, and it's cool because it's Dimension Extreme, you know, they fucking don't hold back on the gore. Um, but I remember this was be this was big because um, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, I think it was called Project Greenlight. Some reality show or some shit where they helped somebody get their movie made. But I'm fucking excited. I think I've seen Feast, and I think I really enjoyed it. Commentary with the filmmakers, a small feast of outtakes and deleted scenes. Feast 2, Sloppy Seconds. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's the morning after the initial attack. Oh, cool, it takes place the day after. And the nasty flesh-eating monsters are invading the nearby town. Those lucky enough to have survived. I have seen the first one. Because I remember the trailer. And I remember... Spoilers! Don't watch this if you haven't even seen the trailer. Some dude runs in and he, they're like, who are you? And he says, I'm the dude who's going to save your ass. And the fucking monsters grab him and pull him out the window and fucking rip him apart. I remember that. That was fucking awesome. I don't remember a lot of the movie, Roger, so I guarantee 90% of this will be a surprise. But um, anyways, Feast 2 is sloppy sack. It's the morning after the initial attack, and the nasty flesh-eating monsters are invading the nearby town. Those lucky enough to have survived the night join a twisted group of locals whose only goal is to stay alive no matter the cost. And, uh, Feast 3, The Happy Finish. All of these are unrated. That's fucking awesome. Um, third course in this blood-gushing, mutant-thrashing, stomach-churning comic horror series. The man-eating monsters are still hungry... And what's left of the human survivors are running out of luck. Let's see the cast. In the first one, Balthazar Getty. I think he's the one that gets pulled out of the window. Balthazar Getty, he's from um, Lord of the... I was going to say Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Flies. Um, fucking Henry Rollins is in it? Ha! Huh. Um, Jason Mewes. Uh, there you go, Clue Gallagher. Is it Gallagher or Gulager? I don't know. Second one. Oh, they're all directed by John Gulliger. I think that's his son. Um, second one has Clue is back. Yeah, because I think Roger was excited because Clue is in all three of these, and he thought Clue was fantastic. Um, Tom Gulliger, another one. Carl Anthony Payne. Is that is that the guy that played um? Fuck was his name on Martin. Not Tommy. Cole. And he was Cockroach on um, fucking uh, Bill Cosby, uh, the Cosby Show. That's fucking hilarious. If I'm right. Um, and then the third one. Clue Gulager. Uh, Carl Anthony Payne. Tom Gulager. And I don't know anybody else. That's fucking cool, Roger. I'm excited. This is going to be fucking fun. And you asked me to review these because you want to know my opinion. Yeah, it is. It's Cole. You probably can't really see it. Right, but right there. Cole from um, Martin or um, Cockroach from the Cosby Show. Oh, and there's a clue looking old and beat up. Oh, and then uh, Marty the Midget from uh, Howard Stern fame. Awesome. All right, dude, I'm excited. This is going to be fun. Between the two of these, man, you know, classic, classic uh, horror cinema. And this seems like it's going to be balls-to-the-wall fun, dude. I'm so fucking stoked. Thank you so much, Roger. Um, Yeah. And uh, this was just sent to me, you know, just because he wanted me to have these in my collection. And I fucking appreciate it, dude. Um. This has nothing to do with, you know, the what's in the box stuff that, you know, I asked for. Um, this was just you being like, you know what? My buddy Eric hasn't, he hasn't seen these to your knowledge. You're right. I've seen Feast. Don't remember a lot of it. Haven't seen the fucking sequels and fucking sloppy seconds. I'm so excited. And then eight fucking Frankenstein movies, dude. Thank you so much. Um... 
Dude, that's awesome, Roger. Um, but enough of, you know, you know, kissing Roger, but, um, again, thank you, dude. I will, um, I'll watch these, and I'm gonna give you a heads up on what I think. Um, yeah, that's it for this unboxing video, man. I got some great shit from my buddy Raj. Like I said, check out his channel, Channel Donstar. Um, link will be in the description below. Um, or, like I said, go to the homepage of my YouTube channel. Click on Channel Donstar. Give the dude a, lot, uh, a like, a subscribe. And uh, tell him Eric sent you. Hey, Internet Eric here sent you. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. Once again, thank you, Roger. Um, for your kind gifts, and, uh, like, subscribe, the usual shit I say in every one of my fucking videos, like, subscribe, tell grandma, tell the neighbors, tell nobody, whatever, I'm at 101 subscribers, awesome, thank you, um, check out my older videos, Friday the 13th is coming up, um, this Friday, I will be shooting a review of Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, for my You Hate It, I Don't series, um, I have a playlist of uh, Friday the 13th film reviews I've done already. I've done part 1, part 4, part 5, and part 9, Jason Goes to Hell. So give those a look if you come across this before Friday the 13th. But uh, in the end, once again, thanks, Raj. Cheers and sloppy seconds. <laughs>